What's going on guys and welcome back to episode 12 now of the Transfer Rumour. I have been uploading this daily for the last like 4-5 or five days, something like that. I'm going to continue to do it for as long as I possibly can or hopefully until the transfer window ends. This will be happening hopefully in the January transfer window as well as long as things go okay and things like that. So today's episode we have a lot of good um, and interesting, a bit strange transfers. You'll see a few in the thumbnail, Tehran to Arsenal, Mahrez to Man City. We'll go more in-depth into them in a minute. But let's get into the first one, which is actually Tehran to Arsenal. So this deal kind of came about. He's been linked to Chelsea as well. Um, I'll put it in for Arsenal because I think they're the most likely to get him. I don't think Chelsea will be as interested as Arsenal have been. Of course, plays for Barcelona at the moment. His new club would be Arsenal. £20 million is the price tag, um, which is a quite quite a good deal for a player like Tehran. He obviously hasn't impressed that much at Barcelona. Barcelona since he's been there uh, and that's probably why they kind of said they will be willing to sell him and they would sell him if they could. A rumour rating of 6 I think it, it it's probably a bit more likely than um, not likely if you know what I mean. I think it's I wouldn't be too surprised if it happened. And also a transfer rating of 9 it'd be a very good deal. We're then going to Dija Dijedi, I don't know how you say it, he does play for Marseille at the moment at right back, he's been linked to Watford for 3.5 million, apparently they've made a bid or something like that, or um, that's how much he's worth at 3.5 million, gonna give it a room rating of 6, I can see this one kind of happening, obviously it's early stages so I can't put it any really above 6 or 7, um, but yeah I think this would be a good deal for Watford, he looks like a decent right back from his card in FIFA, so he must be okay in real life, and then have a transfer rating of 7 as well, I think it'd be a pretty decent deal um, for Watford, I don't think he'd make like like, massive impacts. I don't think he'd like won the league for them or anything like that, but I think he would be a pretty decent right back. And you see uh, right backs and foreign leagues come in and they do do well um, for kind of the smaller team, so hopefully he can do the same. We then go on to Marata, of course, uh, now Real Madrid, of course, he was at Juventus in the, uh, last season, but now Chelsea are interested. I've already posted this in some of my previous um, the transfer target videos. 48 million though is the price tag. Would you want to pay that for a player like Marata? Personally, I don't think he's worth it. I don't think he's worth 48 million, but Chelsea, you never know, might buy it. Um, he seems to want to buy just everybody um, that's Italian or everybody that's played in the Italian League Conte. So it's a bit of a weird one. It's like he just wants to bring all the Italians over. So we'll see how that one escalates. I'm going to give it a verbal rating of 6. I feel like it would be a good deal, um, but I just can't see it happen. I'm going to put it at 6 though because it is, I suppose, more likely than not. Um, and also a transfer rating of 10, I think it would be a very good deal. The next one is another kind of strange one. They has signed, it has been confirmed, guys. Everything has happened. It's Dodo, Dodo, I don't know how you say his name. Of course, he was at Leicester last season. Didn't really play any um, for the actual main team. I don't believe he was more in the younger team, um, like the under-21s or something like that. But he did do quite well for them. He did impress. And Rangers have just signed him on a four-year deal, I believe, um, for an undisclosed fee. It could be a good deal. Rumouring of 10, because it has been confirmed. And also a transfer rating is 9, because um, I think he's a decent player and will do well next season. We then have Negredo um, of a possibly about to be Middlesbrough on the loan. It'll be interesting to see if this deal does go through. He has um, not went on the pre-season training or the pre-season tour with Valencia. He is going to apparently go have a medical in Middlesbrough today. I'm not too sure how true that is, um, but it has been confirmed. I'm pretty sure that he isn't going on a pre-season tour with Valencia. He's going to skip that and try and join another club, possibly on loan. Don't think he'll sign for another club. He has just signed back for, uh, for Levin, uh, Valencia from Man City. So I think he will go out on loan to... Maybe a BPL club, maybe another club from a different country. I'm going to give it a room rating of 7. I think it could happen, but it's still kind of in the early stages. And a transfer rating of 10, I think it would be a very good deal for Middlesbrough if they can pick him up. We then have Perolo. And yeah, as I was saying a minute ago, Conte does want all the Italians. Perolo is no different. Also, Candreve has been linked as well. So I might add him in a different episode. Maybe tomorrow's if there's more news on it. But Lazio, of course, is the team he plays for at the moment. Chelsea um, will be the, the new club. If he does join, it hasn't been a price thrown about yet. It's kind of a new story. That's why I've only gave it a transfer uh, rumor rating, sorry, of five. I've given it a transfer rating of ten, though. Of course, Perolo, he's, he's world class. He's a great player. You've seen him in the Euros, um, and I think he'd fit in really, really well at Chelsea. But it means a lot of the midfielders might have to leave. We then go on to Grant. Is it Grant ha Hanley? I don't even know his first name, but Hanley um, of Blackburn Rovers is about to join Newcastle. Apparently, a uh, a fee has been accepted of 5.5 million for the Scotsman. Uh, rumour rating of 9 because it is just about to be confirmed. All he has to do is medical and stuff, so it looks as if it's going to happen. And also a transfer rating of 8. I think this will be quite a good deal for him. He has got the championship experience, I do believe, so he will be able to do a job for them, um, or for Newcastle, in the championship, and maybe even um, get up to the Premier League with them, which would be good to see. We then go on to Berahino. 
when is there not been a transfer window for Berahino, like, for crying out loud, he's been linked again to a different club, it is Stoke City this time, bit of a strange one, I didn't really think he'd suit into Stoke City's play, but apparently they have bid 20 million, or about to bid 20 million, this was from um, Sky Sports, the source, so it's pretty reliable, I think this could happen, I'm going to give a room rating of 7 though, it's not written stone yet, it's not, um, it's not guaranteed, that's why I've only gave it a 7, it does seem to be linked heavily to clubs like Tottenham, um, Crystal Palace even, and uh, who was it else, like, I can't remember, an R team, but it just doesn't seem to happen for him, and also a chance rate of 9, as it'd be a good, a very, very good deal, we then go on to Michael McGovern, of course you guys know him from the Euros, did absolutely mad things with um, Northern Ireland and that, his previous club was Hamilton, he was released though, um, and now Norwich Pit City have picked him up for free, it has been confirmed, 10 is going to be the rumour rating of course because it has been confirmed, and also a transfer rating of 7, I think he'll do okay, I don't think he'll be as good as he was in the Euros, I don't even know if he'll get a start for them, he might be their backup goalkeeper, we'll have to see um, how that kind of plays out and stuff like that, but I'm surprised he wasn't picked up straight away, it took like a month or something for him to get picked up um, from after Northern Ireland get put, picked, uh, put out sorry, of the Euros, but good, it's good to see he has joined the club and hopefully he can get some um, game time in the Championship Norwich now, right now aren't they? so hopefully he can get some game time over there we then go on to Mares, the final one of today, of course, a couple of episodes ago I said he was linked heavily with Chelsea, which he was but all of a sudden Man City have just came out of nowhere and um, According to the Sun, are apparently um, lining up a thirty-three million pound bid. But then again, it is the Sun; you can't completely um, believe it. But if this did go through, I'd be very happy. It'd do very well for us, I believe. Um, and yeah, it'd be just an insane thing if we could pick him up. A room rating of six. I think it's not. As I said, for a lot of them, it's, a lot of these deals aren't likely to happen, guys. This is kind of the same as it. I can't really see it happening. That's why I've only put it at a six. But it still could happen. Um, so hopefully it does end up happening. We then got a transfer rating of 10 as well. Of course, when Mahrez joins any team, he would be absolutely incredible. He's won by Barcelona, all these big teams. So if he did join us, it would just be insane. And I can't wait to see if he does um, join us throughout the coming weeks and possibly going into the end of August. Anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. I know there wasn't as many big deals today, but... Hopefully there will be more tomorrow for me to report back to you um, news-wise. There so will be a Road to Glory episode possibly out tonight. I'm going to sell the game tonight as well. Um, so we'll see if I do a match review or something like that. I'll tell you about that or you'll see it when it does get uploaded. If you have enjoyed the video guys, smash the like button. If you can hit 15 likes, that would be absolutely insane guys. Subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.